Hey everyone, Queen Nella here. Welcome to another update on my Lion King collection. Um, it has been nearly three months since I've done my last update and I apologise. I've just been super busy and I've been hardly getting in times for reviews but now I've got them um, sorted and I have like a month scheduled so we're back on track where we should be. Um, now most of these items are Lion Guard as they are now heavily readily available in the UK. Um, so yeah, this is stuff I've collected since March, since my last update video. As usual, we're going to start over from the left and work our way around. Um, I have quite a lot to show you guys, um, so I'll start off in this back corner. Um, the first thing I have is my Lion King frame I got from a car boot sale a few months ago now. Um, it did cost me £5 and I showed it in one of my videos. Sorry, you can't really see because of the glare from my computer, but it's really nice. Um, next I have my Battle Brother Bunga from the Disney store. He does work, but I've um, turned him off to kind of keep his test me batteries on. Um, I got him a few months ago when I went to the Disney store. Um, next I have my Big Douglas Simba I got from eBay for an amazing price of £20. I got this back in April, I think. Um, so he was probably one of my favourite bargains. Next I have Disney Store Fully. Um, I ordered her from the Disney Store along with Kion, Janja and figures. Um, I did get her reduced as I said on my review on her. Um, she's gorgeous and my favourite member of the Lion Guard and a really really nice plush. Next we have the little Disney Store Ono from the Disney Store. Little Beanie. He's really cute. Next we have Kion, the leader of the Lion Guard. He's also really cute and a medium sized plushie. Next we have Janja. I really like him. I think he's much nicer than the older hyenas, the 2011 ones. But he's really cute and I love him to bits. Now, I have the Kion backpack from the Disney store. Um, they have released like a lunch with like a stationery set. Um, that matches this bag so I'll need to get that at some point. And there's his tag. Next I have Tiny Tins. Um, I recorded on Saturday like an unboxing video and these are in it. I have Simba, if I can get this open with one hand, and this is Nala, I'll just, I'm not going to open her because it'll be a pain to get back, but there's Nala, if I can get her back in, and then we have Pumba. there's Pumba. and I can get him back in as well. Next I have the Lion Guard Series 2 blind bag figures. Um, these were released in Smiths not that long ago. Um, I have the full set. I have Kion, Timon, Rafiki, Beshti, Bunga, Pimba, Sazu, and Matoto. Um, I know there is meant to be Kiara in this set and the blue battle Bunga. No one has ever found Kiara. And the blue battle bunga is super hard and I don't want to keep buying them over and over to try and get them because it'll just kind of be a waste of money. So these are two fifty in Smiths. Um, I don't know if they're available anywhere else yet. But if you're looking for them, £2.50 in Smiths. And good luck trying to get them on because they cost me a lot of money. <laughs> Next I have the set of Pez. Uh, the older ones I have Simba, Timon, Nala, Pumba and Mufasa. Um, down here I have magazines and stuff. I have the fun on the run Lion Guard playset from the Disney store. Um, I'll move these over. So you get cheesy. I actually don't know what this is by the way. Um, I don't even think it has anything on the other side. Nah, it's just blank. So it comes with crayons, pencils, rubbers, stickers, like colouring in things as well. And then you can just get on to using the stickers. And it's like drawing the dots and colouring them in. There's like a little colouring in there. And then there's just blank things to draw your own or place the stickers. Um, I can't remember how much this was. I think it was £8. No, it was £7 from the Disney store. I was really surprised when it came with the Lion Guard tag. I thought it was just going to come with like the normal grey one. Next I have the Lion Guard Panini sticker album. I'm just going to pull my chair over because I'm going to be here a while. Um, this was released in the Disney store, eh, not the Disney store, um, like local supermarkets not that long ago. Um, I got mine in a bumper pack so I'll show you what it come with. 
And I've just realized I forgot one of the things it comes with. Um, I don't even think I have it beside me. But it comes with like Langard stamps. Um, I'm just having a quick nosy at my bookshelf because I can't remember where I put it. Uh, I'll need to show you that next update. Um, so sorry, I don't know where I've actually put it. Um, so it comes with the sticker album. I have almost completed the sticker album. I am like 30 stickers off I think. So it comes with like screenshots um, of the movie. And there's also a few things on the TV show in there. Um, there are special stickers, like one for each character, the beginning and end. As you can see, Bestie has like a silver sticker. And there's the end one, which I've not completed yet. It also comes with this little pullout, which has more stickers and on the inside. It has like concept art. This thing's really bad because you have to pull it out like middle of the sticker album. So I ended up ripping it. Um, so I only need a couple more for this. Which is super super cute. I'm not sure if this is available in the US. Um, that's one thing I honestly have no idea about. Now I just need to kind of fold this with one hand which isn't going to work. There we are. So, um, let me just put this in and then I'll show you guys the magazine it comes with. So this is the magazine. It's a monthly magazine. So the next one's out on the 30th of June. Uh, this is the first magazine, um, the Line Guard. So it comes with the st stampers I can't find, the sticker album and a couple of stickers for the packet. Um, it comes with comics, giveaways and little bits and bobs. So there's also competitions and stuff. So you get an introduction and then you get a comic which features Zuri but I don't know if you can see that really well because she actually looks um, more like Kiara. Yeah, she looks a lot like Kiara than Zuri. Um, but you can choose Philly's plan or Bestie's plan depending on your ending and you get a different ending obviously depending on what you pick. And depending on what you pick you get an outcome. The competition to enter. A little thing, a little, um, this is what you use to be your stampers, like a blank page. A poster, another stamper, a little game thing, another little game, animal facts. So this is really reminds me of the 1994 magazines you used to get when the Lion King first came out. Um, they had little things like this. Um, here is next issue where you get, um, it's a craft kit, you can make Kion on Bestie. And I'm really looking forward to that switch surround and um, for like the lamps, uh, the like the ceiling light. Um, you can make Maku, you get a sticker packet, and you can win competitions. And these are coming out in Smiths in um, July. And there's also comes with little badges, which I really like. So that's that magazine. Next, I have the Lion King Stick and Lift. This is a super super rare book, and it is worth a lot of money if it's complete and the stickers have not been used. It's a sticker book that goes with along with the story and um, so you can peel them off, place them again and um, I got them in a bundle with some others which I'll show you in a minute um, and there's the stickers and it has like Sarabi and stuff on it. So it goes along with the book and it has most of the scenes and that's it and you get a little colour and anything and also it, it looks like it's meant to be Nala but it's definitely Sarabi there. So that's that one. Um, I'll show you the other one I got with it. Um, I got the Simba's Pride one. This is even harder to find. And the stickers have not been used. And which I really like. It has stickers of Vitani, Zira, Nuka and some other Outlanders. So this also goes along with the story. Which I really like. And there's a part at the end where they were hinting at a new Lion King with Kiara and of his cubs. Um, because it says up here, where is it? Who knows, maybe soon old Rafiki will have to present the Lion King's first grandchild to his subjects and those two playful jokers, Timon and Pumbaa, will once again be babysitters. That would have been awesome, but you know, it never happened. Maybe someday. And then we have more stickers at the back here which feature adult Kiara and Kovu. 
which is really nice and it comes with another colour name thing. Um, I got these with Oliver and Company for £1.50 from eBay which is such a bargain. Next I have another sticker book. This is the 1994 Panini sticker album. This is almost complete as well. I got this in a bundle um, with the book at the back and something else which I can't remember. I think, yeah, it came with another stick and lift book. Um, I already had it since I got one brand new and sold it. Um, this one is almost complete. If I managed to get extra stickers, I'd order like the last ones I needed. So this is like really, really cool. Um, I just need the Panini album cards and the um, Simba's Pride sticker album to kind of complete it. Like my sticker albums and the 2011 sticker book as well. Um, it would be awesome to actually be able to complete these things. But since it's like 20 years old, it's going to be really hard to find. And it comes up. You know, you were getting free figures and stuff when you send them 30 packets. So, you know, and you can actually see how different the figures actually look. They look like they have more detail and, like, Nala there has, like, earrings and stuff. So, yeah. Next, I have this huge colouring in book. Um, it's has Some of it has been coloured in, but it is really, really lovely, and I'm glad, like, the artist's done a good job. And this was originally $1.99. Um, I just noticed that in the back as I was pulling it out. There you go. So that's all those stickers now. Next I got these flip flops from Primark. They were like the only thing I wanted. And they were £2.50 in the last one in my size. So I was super happy about that. I also did get a top. But um, it's in the wash. So I can't show you that. Uh, next I have a puzzle from the Disney store. Kion is like felt. You can kind of make it out. So he's really cute. This was four ninety five, I believe. Um, I got this when I went to the Disney store. Next I have Lion King earphones from the musical. These are so unusual and I just had to buy them. I got them for like £1.50 I think. So it was a really good bargain. Next I got a Funko. It's not Funko is it? I can't remember. It's um, a Scar keychain. I think it is Funko. Um, yeah it is. And I got them from eBay I think for four ninety nine. Um, so I was really happy, so now I just had to find Pumbaa. Next I have the Langard CD. I bought this at HMV a couple of weeks ago. Um, I've not opened it as I listen to it on Spotify, so I'm probably going to keep this one sealed. Next I have a Lion King pen. Um, it's still in the original packaging, as you can see, and it has Simba on it. I think this is two fifty with free postage on eBay. They don't have any more, sadly, so... I love, I'm like a sucker for 1994 things in the packaging, so I just had to buy it. Next I have a scar eraser, as you've probably seen in my last video. He's still in the packet and he's really cool. And a rubber, which is unusual, and scar. Next I have a Lion King cup. I am doing a re requested review of all these items. Um, so they'll be released this weekend, if you want to see it. Um, so I have like the glitter cup with Kion on it. A fork and a spoon from the Disney store. Another little cup. JC Penny released a cup like this, but it's grey. The Kion cup, a um, Kion plate, and the Kion little baby cup. Next, I have a few ornaments to show you guys. I have a Groiler with Simba. He's opening a packet, and it says to Simba. And um, I got this from eBay. I can't remember how much for, but it wasn't that long ago. Next I have the Hakuna Matata WDCC Walt Disney Classics Collection Simba. I got an absolute bargain on this because he normally sells for like £15 and I got him for £2. So I was super happy with that and he's really cute. I want to try and get some on next. Next I have probably my favourite thing, like favourite ornament. It's my WDCC Nala. Um, I got her from eBay. I did do a review on her for £51 which was such a bargain considering she sells for over 100 just because the seller just named her Nala um, so I was really happy to find that and she's an adult Nala ornament I do have another adult Nala but she's my Disney Traditions one and she goes with the Simba but this one is just gorgeous and I love her to bits hopefully I can get Simba to go with next I have my um Toddler figures with Simba, Rafiki, Mufasa and Sarabi. I bought these from a friend. And now as we approach over here, I have my Posh Paws Bunga plush I got from Toys R Us. My Bestie plush I got from Toys R Us. Ono plush from Toys R Us. Bestie from the Disney store. Bunga from the Disney store. 
my Just Play Scar I got from eBay months ago. And my new Just Play Simba and Nala plushies I ordered from Toys R Us US. There will be a review on these. I think they're out next again week after the uh, mealtime items. Next I got the figures from the Disney store. I ordered these along with my plushies so I got a discount. I have my little Hasbro Simba. Um, his tag is now coming off. So I kind of just set it below him. Um, I got it from a car boot for sale for 20 pence. And I got this Simba from the car boot as well. Um, he's in much better condition than my last one. Next I have the Kion Battle Brawler I got from the Disney store. Um, I just need Bestie now to complete the set. And they're also releasing a Fully and a Jaja. And I really, really want Fully. <laughs> Next I have my Medium. Um, Posh, Boss, Kion and Bunga. I will be doing a review on these. It's just when I decide if I want to debox them or not. Because um, it would be easier to put in my cupboard as a plush than like a box plush. So I just need to decide what I'm doing. So I think that is everything. Sorry for like rushing the past three minutes of this video. My camera's just told me I have like seven minutes left to record before. You know I've reached like max capacity. And I know I'd go in much longer than that. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this long-awaited Lion King collection video update. I'm sorry it took so long. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like rating and subscribe for more videos where the next one will be mealtime items, uh, the Lion Guard ones from the Disney store. See you guys next week.